Hello, and welcome to more Vintage Cube Supreme Draft. Ooh, okay. I actually say, ooh, this hand's, this pack's pretty bad. Um, we can go a couple options. Factor Fiction Glen gives us just good saying power against a lot of decks. Uh, Dire Fleet Daredevil. The more I think about it, this card's actually kind of insane in this format. They're going to have so many, like, time walks, um, time twisters, ancestral recalls that this card could be good, but I think it's probably just worse than Factor Fiction and Glen, so we're just going to take these two. Uh, the other option is Tundra, but I I think basically... Whoa, 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 whoa. What just happened there? Are we lagging? Okay, that was weird. Um, basically, I think like the best deck is Mono Blue, so just default to thinking you will be Mono Blue. And then if throughout the draft you feel like you're going to need to start taking other colors, then at that time go for it, but like there's there's no rush. I think I'm going to go Glen Jataxian Probe. Glen plus knowing what's in their hand is very scary. Um, so now, now could be an option where we go for Ashiok or Dark Confidant. Dark Confidant's a very good card too. The problem is like, I think, <laughs> honestly, I think Dark Confidant's too slow for this format, as weird as that sounds. Um, I mean, I think Mystical Tutor's insane, so we're definitely going to take that. Question is, what else? I think Fire Ice is okay, a bit slow. Yeah, I'll take an Ashiok over Dark Confidant. Seems like a more reliable splash. Jeez! All these packs. Mox Sapphire Soul Ring probably is the picks. Soul Ring with Glen is too good to pass up. I know Dak Faden is also like one of the best cards in this format, but like these two cards are just so strong that they, they will enable enable future decks. There's the Ancestral Recall we were looking for. Um and then this pack's actually pretty bad. Uh I could take Bayou because it works with fetches if I get blue green. I don't think I'm playing Thousand's Oracle. Yeah, I'll take a Bayou, I guess. There are some green cards I would splash. Or by CMC. Mana Drain is excellent. I think counter spells here are just so important. So I'll take that. And Miscalc as well. Just go like full on blue black control. I'm not, not super opposed to that. Um, this might be one of the worst packs I've ever opened. <laughs> I don't. What, there's nothing here. There's a Stone Coil Serpent, protection from multicolored, and then a Thassa's Oracle if I really feel the need. I guess Chupacabra's okay. Chupacabra's fine. And then I'm going to take a Celestial Colonnade. Okay, Mox Pearl, Mox Diamond makes sense to me. Just going a bit faster. Silver's fine, Impulse is fine, but like you need you need the fast mana here. Ooh, Mana Crypt. I love me a Mana Crypt. And with this much fast mana, Mind Twist is looking better and better. But there's also a Watery Grave. Ah, uh, I can like turn one Mind Twist their hand. That seems fine. I can pick up Watery Graves later. Now, now I don't feel the need for more Factor Fictions. But I mean. It couldn't hurt. I could take Hollowed Fountain and that lets me get uh, Fractured Identity in the deck easier. Consecrated Sphinx is also fine. But the nice thing about Foff is that it gets around Hole Breacher and Narset. And it's good with Mana Drain. Actually, I'll take another Foff. I'll take Foff Hollowed Fountain here, I think. Now we have Mox Jet. Definitely taking that. Um, honestly, this could be a pretty good Monastery Mentor deck. Part of me wants that. There's also Chrome Mox. And him to Torok to a lesser extent. I don't quite have the mana for that. I think this is a pretty good Mentor deck, though. With this many Moxes, like, Mentor backed up by Counter Magic is one of the most disgusting things you can do. Here we have Mana Drain again. Definitely taking that. Uh, I don't know about Ulamog. Jace is actually quite good. We'll take Jace. It's a good turn two play. This deck is looking so spicy. We have Jataxian Probe, Bribery, another Mind Twist. Taking another Probe. That card's insane. Um... Do I need two Mind Twists? <laughs> I don't know. Bribery, I mean, it's good against some decks. I can Bribery for like a Hole Reacher maybe? Mind Twist is really only good on the play. It's probably better. I think this card's insane. Okay, this pack's really bad. We have a Treasure Cruise. Um, Ever Flowing Chalice maybe? <laughs> Honestly, that might be the pickup with this many fours. I could just go like Chalice Cruise. All right. Self mill is definitely a possibility here. Uh, Spellseeker can grab Mana Drain, Recall, Mind Twist, Miscalc. So that's pretty interesting. Chromox is good. Reanimate can hit things that I've hit with my Mind Twists. I think, I mean, Spellseeker for Ancestral is so good. I gotta take that. And then I think I'm going for a Chromox actually. I just have so many factor fictions that I will be able to recover. 16 out of 18. Uh, there is Coalition Relic, Elspeth Conquers Death. Good card, a little bit slow. Um, this could be the one Library of Alexandria deck. The problem is, if I'm on the play, let me think about this. If I'm on the play with Library, that doesn't even work. 
So I don't even think I want this card. Like, I think it's pretty much worthless in this format. Um, I'm looking at Duress, Moldrifter. Probably don't have the white for Elspeth Conquers Death. I'm not even playing Bayou. Do I even have the black for Duress? Probably not. Hmm. Honestly, I might want Kozilek just so I don't deck myself with my own card draw. <laughs> it's also castable off Mana Drain. So I can go like Kozilek Coalition Relic. Alright, I'm down. There is Grim Monolith. Is this a Fallen Shinobi deck? I'm not sure. It's a very good card. Again, I think Library is pretty rough. Um, definitely going to take the Monolith. It just makes my turn 2 so good. And then Treachery, Grave Titan, Fallen Shinobi. And I guess Impulse are the ones I'm looking at. Um, I mean, Mind Twist into Grave Titan looks pretty good. I would need Black Mana, which I currently will have some issues getting. It's funny that all my Moxes are on color. <laughs> like... That's kind of cool. Um, yeah, I guess maybe I might want a Grave Titan. This deck doesn't have too much closing power at the moment. Last pack, didn't get any blue-black fixing. Um, pretty much, I actually kind of regret that a lot. I think Ancestral Vision's pretty bad. This pack's really bad. Croc is definitely for the sideboard. And what else? Vampiric Tutor? I don't even think I need Vampiric, although it does let me get Mind Twist turn two. Um, Giver of Runes. I guess maybe there's a world where I want Hero's Downfall. Just having more things to tutor for makes sense, but my mana is really bad. I have so many playables. Um, I mean, I have, look at all this fast mana though. Chalice is a two drop. The rest of these are effectively lands. I don't think I can play these double black cards, or at least I probably can't play Chupacabra. No time walk is pretty brutal, but Kozilek, make sure I don't deck myself at least. Maybe I play Kozilek instead of Grave Titan. I could honestly see that. I mean, this deck's going to go through... Like, I'm going to go through this deck so quickly. Uh, do I even play... Yeah, Mystical Tutor for Mind Twist makes sense. Also, Mana Drain into Mind Twist looks disgusting. Um, limiting my double black cards makes the splash much easier. And then, like... I mean, Mentor is, like, really good. So... 6-1. <laughs> so right now my black sources are 1-2. Chromox isn't really a black source. In fact... Yeah, I think I do run double mind twist. I uh, one two, oh jeez, one two three four five six seven. My man, my man is so bad here. Uh, because I really do want to mind twist turn one with all this fast mana or turn two maybe. And I have one two three four five six, kind of seven black sources. Maybe that's enough. In fact, that's probably enough. I. I really want to make sure I can turn one Ancestral. So, one, two, three. Uh, actually, let's sideboard Caracas. Because Mentor, I'm not going to be casting until the late game anyway. That like, gives me another white or blue source. And I get another land, too. Because I really want Mana Drain available. So let's do that. And then I'm like, basically, once I cast Foth, I'll be able to draw my deck. This deck is so weird. <laughs> it's, uh, maybe I need a Grave Titan. Because, like... How do I win? I cast a Glen, then I cast Kozilek or Monastery Mentor. Then I Mind Twist their hand. Yeah, actually this is fine. It's, it's easier on the mana this way. <laughs> we'll find out what happens. See you guys around one. All right, we're playing against Shenry CG67, something like that. We're gonna go first. We're gonna Mind Twist some people. This hand looks good. I'm gonna keep it. Uh, I'm tempted to recall myself right now because there's like a bunch of Moxes I can draw. So if I go... Land, Mox, Jet, Recall. I may have to discard, but I also might just draw something that I can play. Right, five? No, I don't have to discard, right? Down to four, up to seven. Yeah, okay, we'll do that. Before they can do anything, I guess this could get countered, but yeah, now I can, oh! Turn one, Glen? Holy cow. I don't have Glen protection up, but turn one, Glen is gonna be pretty brutal. Card a Swamp. Play Mana Crypt. Cast to Glen. Go! <laughs> Imagine if I draw Mind Twist next turn. That'd be pretty broken. Mind Twister. I'm Walk. No! What are you doing? You can't do cool things like me. The bright side is we're both under the duress of Mana Crypt. So I have a lot of factor fictions I can draw to. Of course, they <laughs> their deck is like just as good as mine. <laughs> what did I expect, really? But if they don't have a thing here... We get to Glen. That's going to be pretty nice. Hails never fails. Literally never. Ooh, Spellseeker's quite nice. 
Let's cast Spellseeker. I'm going to get Mana Drain. I think. Although I could get Mind Twist. No, let's get Mana Drain. I have Kozilek. Hit them. Hopefully no Sharknado or whatever. This is insane. So my opponent went turn one. Ancestral Recall, Mana Crypt, Mana Vault, Signet, Time Walk. <laughs> turn two things. And I went turn one Glen. Turn two Spellseeker for Mana Drain. Probably turn three Kozilek. They can ponder. That's fine. Are they doing nothing? Beautiful. So now I have Glen active. I maybe I should have just gotten Mind Twist, but it felt like if they get Hole Breacher, I'm in big trouble. And I have two Mind Twists. Ooh, that might help like the cause. Let's attack here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. If I want to tap out completely, I can. This is a Hole Breacher for sure. All right, let's Mana Drain this one. I guess I'll keep up my basic land here. Mostly I'm not sure what other creatures I would be more scared of unless they have specifically an Eldrazi. They're remanding their Hole Breacher. Alright, fair enough. So now I Glen counter remand. Yikes. Now I'm tapped out of blue. But I like you just cannot let Hole Breacher resolve. That's just not a thing that you can do. I uh, get mana, play this. Yeah. I'm not so happy about the way that that went, but now I do get to cast Kozilek next turn, um, but they get they get a turn of no Glen. But they didn't really have a way to use their mana before. We'll see though. I mean, this they basically sequence this so that they get a turn with me not having blue mana available, and they take two less damage. Okay, Urza, I couldn't even counter anyway. Urza's good though. Time Twister. Okay, but their hand is empty, and it will be very empty very soon. <laughs> They have two mana up though. Okay. So far, not the worst. Ponder, second main. Um, they're pretty much dead. I get to Jataxian Probe, see their hand, discard their hand. I lose the flip. I don't really care. This calc. Yeah, let's let's pay the life with probe. Go down to uh actually, maybe I do care a little bit. Maybe I don't need to see their hand. Let's just mind twist it. Seven eight mana, I guess is what I need. Play a land. Mind twist your hand. So they have Hole Breacher, Time Walk, Tezzeret, Worm Coil. They have two Hole Breachers? Well, I guess this is a good matchup for me. Um, I'm going to recall myself. And what am I going to do? I guess Chrome Box imprinting this Jataxian Probe. I don't really want to pay too much life. I'll attack for one. Um, they can spin their Urza, which is kind of a concern. Let's... I guess it's more likely that I get to keep my land. Let's cast Everclear Flowing Chalice kicked once. They have no hand. They can damage off the vaults plus their mana crypt. I'm going to chump block the construct. Oh, if they're doing that, they're not going to be spinning Urza then, which is much better for me. They've lost every mana crypt flip too. That's unfortunate. All right, we chump. Okay, the Urza. The enemy's. Honestly, very good. They think they may have played a land, though. Nope. That was an insane hit. That's another Urza spin. Locks Emerald. I just let that go. One card left in hand. All right, Mana Crypt. Don't kill me. Okay. I'm so lucky here. <laughs> um, what do we do? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I can Kozilek with a single blue up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Actually, I can Kozilek with double blue up. Honestly, that doesn't sound too bad. The other option is just play Glenelendra and be more safe. Yeah, fine, I'll do that. Let's go... Well, I mean, they can maybe kill me with their Construct is the only problem. So playing Kozilek really shuts that down. I don't think their deck has Artifact Destruction. So let's hold up... 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... Whoa. 9. Oh, I only get 1 blue, so I can't even miss Calc. Only counter one non-creature spell. Honestly, that's still probably fine. They legitimately drew remand for turn. Okay, that was a good draw. Um, I'm playing this way too dangerously. Now they get basically unlimited Urza stuff, and I just can't. That was so bad. Discard Coalition Relic, Island. There's no need to be that greedy. I hadn't anticipated them top decking remand though. They lost another flip. Well. They might be in trouble anyway. 
We'll see what Urza can hit. I'm gonna have six. Full ring doesn't well, it gives them another spin. Fox Diamond doesn't do it. One more, maybe two. They just discarded a land for Mox Diamond. That makes sense. Last spin. Okay, we did it. A little bit too close for comfort, but the greed paid off. I finally lose. <laughs> All right, two mana drains plus Glenn is probably probably enough to do it. Let's play Glenn. Play land. And I'm just going to sit back, pull up all my counter magic. And I guess I get to see more of their deck. It, they appear to be mono blue, which is frightening. Double hole breacher. Fortunately, I have the deck that doesn't die to hole breacher. They win the flip, but lose mana vault, which means Glenn can hit them and kill them. Show me your deck. Island is fine. Honestly, I might be able to win just off Ashiok. Oh. What the heck? Mana Drain... Can they kill me on my turn? I'm not sure, but that's kind of scary. <laughs> they might be able to deck me. Okay. Mana Drain this. They might have Counter Magic. A Force of Negation. Their draws have been absurd. Um, I don't really want to give them like infinite colorless mana on my turn. Right? Yeah, that seems bad. So let's go ahead and miscalculation the force of negation. Basically, they're going to untap on my turn with just a treasure cruise. They have five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, this gives them like one more spin. I guess the, the problem here is my blue mana. Like, what if they hit something even more insane here? So I'll let my first mana drain get countered, counter the second one. So they gain control my next turn, activate Urza and hit a land. And now I can miscalc whatever this is. That's a good thing to miscalc. That would have been pretty rough. <laughs> so now they get my turn. And then I get a turn. I don't think they can kill me, but we'll see. Oh no, they can kill me. No! <laughs> oh, they're going to Factor Fiction deck me. They're going to Factor Fiction, find my other Factor Fiction, cast Treasure Cruise. I'm going to have zero cards in deck. It's going to be a perfect kill. Oh god. Okay, I need them to not hit Treasure Cruise or Factor Fiction in the top four cards of my deck. Oh boy. All right, Treasure Cruise. All right, Treasure Cruise. No. No. Please, no. Why do I have two Factor Fictions? This is too scary for me. No, 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 no. <laughs> They got me, so they fall. I have no deck, then I take an extra turn and lose. That's unfortunate. That was close. That was a good, uh, good, good games. Um, I kind of want to wait and deal with Urza, but I have so much card draw, we're fine. I mean, I know the card draw is what killed me there, but... I think it's a good thing where, where a deck has the ability to deck yourself. So I lost myself that game by casting Kozilek. Uh, no, because it would have still been in my deck. Okay, let's go first. Redeem ourselves here. Um, this hand's very slow. This hand's better. Still slow, but better. Um, guess we get rid of Colonnade. Let's look at their hand. See what's going on here. Mox, Ruby, Remand, Soul Ring, Hole Breacher. Yikes. Hole Breacher's so good against Jace. So they can turn one Hole Breacher. Fair enough. Romox was terrible. I might just hard lose this. That was, uh... <laughs> Good Emrakul turn. <laughs> Emrakul, maybe I'm undervaluing that card. Like, that was the only card they probably could have possibly had to win the game in that position. Yep, they do that. I think I'm just hard, I'm like hard dead to this. Their hand's so good. They even have Urza? Alright, let's chase. Yep. I think I'm just dead. I don't have a creature kill spells. Now they play Urza and just start going off. Oh, that's a good draw. Okay, so what's gone here? Island's gone. Full Breacher's gone. Soul Ring's gone. We're super dead, I think. This card's basically unbeatable. Yeah, there's the Swamp. So this is... You can't even draw one card on your opponent's turn. You just can't do anything. Yeah, okay. Take seven. I'm dead next turn, actually. This is <laughs> this is a quick death. It's nice to lose quickly. I've had a lot of really long drawn out games like that last one. 
took forever for me to lose. It them hitting the factor fiction was what did it. Yeah, alright, we're done. See you guys next round. Oh boy, this hand looks good. We're playing against Tiger String 01. We're on the draw, but this is this is about as good as my hand can get that does not have uh mana drain or mind twist in it. Cause like, what is this? A turn one factor fiction or Ashiok? Duress Duress hurts, but like there's not too much they can disrupt here. They can take my uh, Mox. Interesting. We go Mox Sapphire, uh, Mox Diamond. I guess I don't really need Black Men anymore, so let's go Island Mox Diamond, Carding Swamp. Then we'll play Mox Pearl into Soul Ring. I guess I don't see a reason not to Foff right now. They just concede? <laughs> okay. <laughs> what if I fought it, but you didn't even get to see my deck? Oh, that was a good fought. Oh my gosh, that was a good fought. Uh, okay, run it back, I guess. I didn't see anything that scares me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. This hand is good. Turn one fought. They have duress, they have duress, but they don't. <laughs> They're in trouble. Okay, what is this? What is this? <laughs> what? What do they have last card in hand? Balance? Time Twister. No. Oh, sure. I mean, okay. That's their whole hand. They played an entire hand. That's impressive. Uh, hmm. That's going to kill me, but not the fact. I think I can do this. Island, Mox Jet, Mana Crypt. Fall? Because they're tapped out. Does have flying, though. Definitely taking... I don't care about miscalc. Cozlek like reshuffles. Kind of a weird split. Um, I don't know what I can miscalc for is the concern. I take six. I don't know why they played both black lotuses. Oh, they needed blue white, I see. Um, let me look at my deck to see what I can mystical tutor for. I don't think I have a kill spell though. Yeah, this is weird. My outs are like blocking with Glenelendra and then making a giant monastery mentor army. So I don't really feel the need to like mystical for ancestral. I also need to win some mana crypt flips. Okay, well, 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 well. Let's cast another boss. Basically digging to Glen. Okay, this is a pretty good, pretty good hand. Choose this pile. So Mox. Uh, huh. I so I could play Colonnade and that kind of guarantees mentor, but. I think I'm better off just making sure I can Jace here. Soaring, Jace. I take a hit for six, and then I have to find Glenelendra this turn. And also win a bunch of Mana Crypt flips. I don't think I'm winning this game, but if I, if I win this flip, there's a chance. Okay. Well, Mox Diamond helps. So we can go Mox Diamond, discarding Colonnade, play Mentor. Then I can flip chase and shrink this, right? If there are five or more. I can probe thing one here. They have a swamp. Hollow fountain, sure. Let's flip chase. Discard. I don't want them to know about mind twist if I don't have to. Um I guess I pretty much have to hit her off of treasure cruise. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I go land, treasure cruise. And then I hit Glenelendra off the cruise. And then I win a bunch of flips. <laughs> That's my best bet here. Okay. And I can uh, hold up. I mean, there, there is a world to win this, but I have to win a bunch of mana crypt flips. That's Glen. Uptick Jace here. Go ahead. Um, mana crypt, do your worst. Block. They gain life. I get a shot at it. <laughs> 36. <laughs> so I think I have to win two mana crypt flips. That was an excellent draw. Okay, I won that flip. Um, let's Mystical Tutor on my upkeep for Ancestral. Getting some big monks here. So I Ancestral myself. Um, I guess I could also like turtle up and then get him with Ashiok. That seems unlikely given that they're at 30 cards, but. There's a Glen. Okay, she's doing something. Let's cast Probe for mana, I guess. 
Getting more monks. Cards in hand, that's fine. Miscalc. Uh, okay. Let's mind twist them for zero. <laughs> oh gosh. Uh, so many triggers on the stack here. Then I Jace. If they didn't have Worm Coil, I think I legitimately could have killed them. We're going to Jace back a Treasure Crew or Ancestral Recall. So many monks. Mana Drain and Chalice. Um, so Island, cast with Multi Kicker, kicked once, sure. Actually, let's just cast this for zero. So now I can attack with my monks. Um, there's no way to force lethal, right? So they block, block, they gain 12, they go up to 48. And yeah, there's no way to force lethal, but I can attack with three monks here. That are seven sevens. I eat a worm coil token. And we play Glen. Glen number two. And then I have to win another mana crypt flip. Yeah, I think I think I had lethal if they didn't didn't do that. But block here. I wish there was a way to prevent the life gain. They draw black lotus. That's fine. All right, mana crypt. Don't do me wrong. Okay. What are we doing here? I think there's a legitimate chance. We go island, Jace. Let me recast a treasure cruise. We hold control, cast treasure cruise, selling all this stuff. One, two, three. Get all of these. Honestly, Mentor might be enough to win here. That would be so sick. So we're going to miscalc the treasure cruise. <laughs> if I win from this position, I'm going to be very, very, very impressed. My monks get bigger. And then I'm going to mana drain the miscalc. Get more. Yeah, that stinking worm coil, man. Gain them so much life. But I think if I can draw enough spells off of this, I probably still have a chance at winning. It might be like I need two spells here. My monks get bigger. All right, draw some spells. Off. Mind Twist, Coalition, Relic, Kozilek. I don't have enough mana for Kozilek, so I guess I get two spells here and it will be Coalition Relic into a Mind Twist. And I might honestly get another turn here. Oh, five fives. I Mind Twist them for zero again. I don't know if this is lethal. I have a hunch that it's not, but it's going to be very close. I think maybe I'm one spell short. We'll find out though when I just right click attack all. Oh, maybe it is lethal. They gain nine? I, maybe it is. I hit them with six, six, sixes for 36, 37, 38. No, I'm just short. They go to two. Uh, three, four. I guess I'm not supposed to attack with Glenn there. I guess that's what happens. I don't attack with Glenn, and then they go to seven, and then I have a chance. I think I need Chupacabra here. I got a little hasty. I thought it was like it, it felt like it had to be lethal, but clearly it was not. Bringing in the Chups, and maybe I want a Hero's Downfall if that's their game plan, just so I have something to Mystical Tutor for. In fact, maybe just Hero's Downfall makes more sense because it kills anything, and I just get rid of. I don't know. Miscalc seems kind of bad. I was so close that game. Oh, okay. Seems nice. Hit him with the old no cards in hand. So I'm definitely going to wait a turn here. Um, I might regret it, but it seems like, I don't know. Mind Twist for two is so much worse than Mind Twist for four. I think I can pretty much snipe all the cards in their hand here. We'll see though. They have Black Lotus, so <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> Uh, I guess I was wrong. They're just going to play their whole hand here. I have yet to see a Black Lotus in this format. It seems pretty good. 
Gristle brand. Yeah, okay. You know, you live some, you lose some. Um, so I guess we're kind of in on the draw black source or, or lose situation. Imagine if my mind twist hit both their black lotuses. This hand is significantly worse. So we're in on the swamp. I, I mean, like, they had two black lotuses in their opener both games. There's only so much you can do to beat that. I honestly could have beat that if they didn't also draw Worm Coil the moment they hit six mana. And even with that, I think I might have been able to one win if I won another flip. If I had played, like, slightly more conservatively. It's hard to say, though. Double Sphinx. Okay. Well, I draw Mind Twist, which is not really what you want to see. <laughs> I had a good plan, but it just did not get there. Assault Monolith Karn. I mean, the rest of their hand looks really bad. Well, I mean, they have Crystal Brand, so they can they can draw their whole deck. They're just discarding. I mean, it really honestly feels like if I get a Swamp, I might have a chance. Uh, never mind. I don't think I can win now. Man, that, that previous game was really cool, though. This one, I think my only shot is them going really deep on Gristlebrand. They have three <laughs> Black Lotuses? <laughs> oh my god. That's insane. Okay. I, they probably have four. Who knows? That's, uh, that's a lot of Lotuses. I no longer feel bad losing to this deck. I kind of just want to see what happens. Three Black Lotus is... That's a thing. I mean, they're going to... They're going to leave me with no cards in hand, I think. <laughs> Look how much mana this is. <laughs> Animate dead the thing. Yeah, sweet deck, honestly. I mean, sure. I'm willing, I'm willing to keep fighting. The hope here is that they draw too many cards off Gristlebrand, and then I deck them by top decking Ancestral. Or they just die to something. I might also just be dead. But I think I'm going to 11, or to 1, to 2. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. See you guys next round. Oh, right, we're playing against Cooper G. Fry. This hand is not the best, but I can mind twist for quite a bit turn 1. And I get to the taxing probe to see, like, do I go for it or do I wait, which is also pretty nice. Narset, Dak, Faden, Torrential, Gear Hulk. Currently, their hand does nothing. It's so much better if I can wait. Right now I can mind twist them for three. And if I wait, I think I can mind twist their whole hand. So definitely do that. That's yeah, so multi kicker twice. Right? Their hand, unless they draw a mox, they cannot cast a single card next turn. So <laughs> no mox off the top, please. Underground C go. Nice. They could draw Mana Drain, I guess. Maybe I should have saved a Taxing Probe. I don't think so. Tails never fails. Ooh, Miscalc's nice. So, one. Do I go for gold or do I hold up Miscalc? I think this is enough. One way I lose this is that they Miscalc me and then Dak Faden my stuff. Hit Dak Faden, Narset. Dak Faden, Narset, Torrential, Gear Hulk, Island. So their hand is Swamp and one unknown. I'm going to Ancestral Recall. Okay, yeah, I was going to say. I'm going to Recall at end of turn and then counter a thing. Uh, Dark Faden. Maybe these cards should just be in here. Like, this is two Glass Cannony. I'm bringing in Hero's Downfall to deal with Dark Faden and Narset. And on the draw, I feel like Kozilek is probably not necessary. Although, now I have Monastery Mentor. Oh, right, this hand is a Mulligan. Double Black with Mana Drain is rough. This one's good. I'm going to keep this. Uh, honestly, I feel like I want to get rid of Mystical Tutor, but at the same time, I can tutor for Ancestral, which gives me more Mentor triggers. I can play turn two Mentor, but then I'm getting rid of Factor Fiction. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get rid of Tutor. I don't know. It, that, that felt right to me, at least. I'm not too concerned about... Okay, now I'm concerned. I, I just want to open a Black Lotus one time. <laughs> is that too much to ask? I think this is my fourth draft, which means I've opened... Uh, 40 plus, ooh, turn one Ashiok's pretty good. I've opened 40 plus 8 times 4, 72 Vintage Cube packs without a uh, Black Lotus. That's unfortunate. Yeah, that, right? 72 without a Black Lotus. I think that is exactly correct. I've drawn everything else you could want. Oh, man. Um, you could play Chalice Kicked. I guess I wait to play the Chalice for post-Mentor. That makes the most sense. I'm not going to play Mox Pearl because Dak Faden is a thing. 
The old turn one tapped colonnade. I wonder what they vamped for. Hero's downfall. It was my only out. Although, they, they probably vamped for a counter spell. Let's be real. Go. Womp. I just have to go for Monastery Mentor here and hope it sticks. We're going to Jataxian Probe immediately afterwards, but if they counter this, I think I'm just dead. Which, like, they vamped, so. Alright, uh, I'm not going to concede just yet. I think there is a series of draws that I could have that would work. They hit a Glenelendra, though, so I don't, I don't know. I don't know about this one. Let's probe looking at their hand. They're going to Glen next turn. They play Clarion Academy. I mean, if they don't turn one Black Lotus Ashiok, their deck looks quite bad. Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, their deck looks so clunky. I draw Jace. Okay. What are my outs? I think they start with casting Factor Fiction. Uh, I guess we can wait on Thoth, right? What, the plan here is we Factor Fiction and we hit... Oh, did I get rid of my Eldrazi? I think I did. <laughs> I think I actually sided out. Uh, Kozilek. Mind Twist, Mana Crypt. They're repealing my Mox. Alright, let's buff. See what I can hit here. A lot of mana. I don't think I can colonnade down the Ashiok in time. I'm gonna take... Um... I already have a land, so I'll take this pile. Yeah, I guess... My one out there was... Oh, they're just gonna Wheel of Fortune. Okay. I'm very dead. Um was like killing Ashiok with Colonnade, but that's just not going to happen. I did cut Kozilek, that makes sense though. I could put in a Grave Titan, but I think on the play my deck's so favored. Like, they've shown me that their deck is very slow, unless they have specifically Black Lotus in their opener, and I'm okay working around that. Um, so I can, I can do this. I'll keep this hand. Again, if they have Black Lotus, they got me, but this is a turn one Mind Twist for two, turn two Glen, or other things. I like the turn one Mind Twist for two, turn two Glenelendra. Basically the way I lose is turn one Dark Rich, or uh, Black Lotus into something. That seems like a good Mind Twist. <laughs> Hitting their mocks really uh, stunts their growth here. Oh, uh, maybe not. Never mind. Um, given that, uh, they can Mana Leak my Glen, they can Mana Leak my Glen, they don't have it. They didn't have it, okay. So now I can Mystical Tutor for Mana Drain, okay. <laughs> We got there, I guess. Glendalindra is a good card. Um, that was one of the least fun leagues I've done. But I'm going to keep doing this until I get a Black Lotus or I open 100 packs. Because, like, that's the fun. Black Lotus Yawgmoth Swill. I have yet to see someone do that. That sounds sick. So we're, we're going to keep going. See you guys there.